I'd like to address what I call the arrogance of MICRA. Because of the $250,000 cap, um, it is extremely difficult, if not becoming impossible, for the victim of malpractice to find a lawyer who will represent them and prosecute a case to a conclusion for a case that is, quote, worth less than or only $250,000. And the reason for that is quite simple. It is extremely expensive, requiring the input of many expert witnesses in the medical, science, health care, damage, economic arena. And those damage, those costs for those experts, those witnesses, uh, must be borne by the victim, or in most cases by the attorney who is working on a contingency fee, which contingency fee is also capped and limited by this statute. As a result, I believe many people who have very meritorious cases involving injuries and even deaths that are only worth $250,000 in 30-year-old dollars are being denied access to justice. Lawyers cannot handle a case that is worth $250,000 if it's going to cost $50,000 to prosecute it on a contingency fee where the other side can uh, spend as much as they want, hire as many lawyers as they need in an attempt to defeat a meritorious claim. Significant arrogance in MICRA also is the, the lack of willingness to enter into what I believe are meaningful settlement negotiations to resolve meritorious cases. Because they know, they meaning the insurance companies, the attorneys who are hired by them, they know that the worst that can happen to them is $250,000 in non-economic damages. And they know they can make it extremely difficult, cost-wise, expert-wise, time-wise, otherwise, to prosecute a case to a conclusion. So they're capable and quite often do set up all the necessary roadblocks to prevent access to justice and to settlement and then maybe settle a case for far less than it's worth.